In this video, we're going to solve absolute value equations, okay? So when you say absolute value, that refers to the positive or negative value of a given number. Okay, so for example, we have here the absolute value of x that is equivalent to 5, meaning we are referring to the positive value of 5 and at the same time, its negative value. Okay? So that is for the absolute value. So for example, we have here the an equation for x minus 6, the absolute value equivalent to 14. Okay? So in this case, we're going to solve for an, the equation that uh, having the positive 14 and the negative 14. Okay? So in this case, we're going to have 4x minus 6 equal to the positive value 14 which is 14 okay and we have the negative value so we'll be having there 4x minus 6 equivalent to negative 14 okay so in this case we're going to isolate first the variable okay so by in that case, you're going to add 6 on both sides, okay? So that will become 0, of course. So we'll be having there 4x equal to 14 plus 6, that would be 20. And we're going to divide both sides by 4, okay? So that would be x equal to 5, okay? So let's check if we have the correct answer. So we have the original equation. The absolute value of 4x minus 6 equal to 14. Okay, so we're going to substitute the value of the variable, which is 5. Okay, so we have here 4 times the value of x is 5 minus 6 equivalent to 14. Okay. So, 4 times 5, that would be 20, minus 6. Then we have 14. Okay, next we have here 20 minus 6, that would be 14. Okay, equal to 14. Okay, so question mark here. And the absolute value of 14, let's take the positive value, that would be 14. Okay, so are they equal? Yes. Meaning we have the correct value for x. Okay, next we have here the negative value. So again, I'm going to isolate the variable by adding 6. Okay, so 6 plus, and then the same with the other side, plus 6. So we are having here 4x, and of course that will become 0. Equal to negative 14 plus 6, that would be Okay, that would be 8, negative 8, okay? And divide both sides by 4. So, x would be equal to negative 2, okay? Next, I'm going to check if we have the correct uh, value for x. So, we'll be having the, negative, uh, the original equation for x minus 6, the absolute value equal to 14. A negative, yes, that's 14. Okay, so again, the value of our x here is negative 2. So we have here 4 times negative 2 minus 6. Uh, then we have here 14. Okay, so we have here 14 times negative 2. That would be negative 8. And then we have minus 6 equal to 14. Okay, next negative 8 minus 6. That would be negative 14 okay and then we have here 14 and the absolute value of negative 14 is 14 again that's, uh, we're going to get the positive value of negative 14 that would be 14 okay so we have equal meaning we have the correct answer for the variable so in this case for number one we have two solutions so it's either 5 or negative 2 okay so again, there are two solutions. We have either 5 or negative 2 for example number 1, okay?
Example number two. So let's try two a minus one. The absolute value equal to a plus four. The absolute value. Okay. So in this case, we're going to have here. So it's either. Okay, so we're having 2a minus 1 equal to the positive value of this uh, amount or value we'll be having there, a plus 4, okay? And the other one, we will be having there 2a minus 1 equal to the negative value, so we'll be having there a plus 4, Okay? So it's either we're going to uh, manipulate this side or this side, but in this case, I manipulate uh, the right sides, okay? So we have here the positive value and the negative value, okay? So in that case, I'm going to isolate the variable and the constants, okay? So in this case, for me to isolate the variable here, I'm going to add one. So the same with the other side, add one and I should do I shouldn't have a variable here since uh, we have here on the uh, left side so I'm going to eliminate that one by subtracting a so again we're going to subtract a here okay so in that case 2a minus 1a that would become 1a or simply a okay well okay so that would be negative one plus one is zero okay so we don't need to write that one so in this case we have here a minus a again that will become zero so a number subtracted to itself is zero okay so zero so four plus one that would be five okay meaning a is equal to five let's check for that one so we have here 2a minus 1, and then we have here the value a plus 4, okay? So we have here 2, the value of a is 5, minus 1, okay, minus 1, equal to, again, we have 5 plus 4, okay? So 2 plus 5, that will become 10. And then we have here uh, 10 minus 1, 10 minus 1, okay? And then we have a plus 4 that would be the value of 9, okay? 10 minus 1, that would be absolute value of 9, equal to absolute value of 9, okay? So in that case, the positive value of 9 is 9 and the positive value of 9 again is 9 so are they equal yes okay so we have the correct value for a next how about if we have negative uh, negative value of quantity a plus 4 okay so in that case i'm going first to distribute the negative here okay so i'm just going to copy first this one so 2a minus 1 equal to again we're going to distribute negative so that will become negative a and then we have minus 4 negative times positive is negative okay so in this case I'm now going to isolate the variable and the constant okay so in this case I'm going to add one again and I'm going to add one on the other side okay now we have here a so to remove that one we're going to add a and the same time on the other side okay so we have 2a plus a that would be 3a okay minus okay so negative 1 plus 1 that would be 0 right so we don't need to write that one so again we have negative a plus a that we count 0 and negative 4 plus 1 that is negative 3 okay and we're going to divide both sides by negative uh, by positive 3 okay so that would be 
a equal to negative 1. So negative 3 divided by 3 is negative 1. So again, let's check if we have if we got the correct value. So we have here 2a minus 1. And then we have here a plus 4. Okay. So again, the value of our a is negative 1. So we have here 2 times negative 1 minus 1. And then we have a, uh, a that's negative 1 plus 4. Okay. So negative 2 minus, at uh, negative 2 times negative 1, that would be negative 2 minus 1. Okay. And then we have here negative 1 plus 4, that would be the absolute value of 3. Okay. And then negative 2 minus 1, that would become negative 3. Absolute value of negative 3. And then we have the absolute value of 3. Okay. So in that case, we have the positive value for negative 3. That would be 3. And then the absolute value, again, we have 3. Okay. So in that case, our equal, yes. So meaning we got the correct value for A. Okay. So in this case, we can have... 5 or negative 1 as the solution for this equation. Okay? So that is for the absolute value. Thank you very much for watching and listening. Please don't forget to subscribe.